Hi guys, welcome back. So I have been getting a flood of questions about my body modifications. How I got them, the story behind it, why I wanted them, stuff like that. So I wanted to give you a full tour of all of my body modifications. The most popular one that I get asked about is my tongue. Everyone wants to see it. Everyone wants to see like the cool tricks and like it moving back and forth like on its own and stuff. Um, I don't generally show it to a lot of people unless uh, they ask very nicely. I do not take demands. I am not a dog. So don't bark at me and be like, show me your tongue because I won't do it because I don't have to. Um, my tongue was very much a long-term plan of mine. I have been wanting this since I was, uh, I think I was 10 years old when I saw this TV show, um, Mad Mad House, if anyone remembers that. It was like, um, like 10 normal people hang out and live in a house with like 10 unusual people. Um, there was a guy who did suspension, there was a lady with her tongue split, that was my favorite. Um, and then there was like, you know, like the typical weirdos, like vampires and shit like that. Um, I thought it was really cool because I have been fascinated with body modification since I was younger and I obsessed over a split tongue. I would like go on like Google and stuff like that and like look at all the weirdos with their split tongue and it was always like crazy people, like fucked up head to toe, just jacked crazy. And they would have these split tongues and I was like, I could do that. It wasn't until about um, three years ago when I met my body mod artist, uh, Ian Bell, shout out, um, that I could actually vision my dreams becoming a reality. Uh, I'll never forget when we decided to do my tongue split. It was random. Um, I was at the shop and I was just like hanging out. He was there and I said something jokingly about getting my tongue split. He was like, let's do it tonight. And I was like, what? <laughs> tonight? Like right, right now. I was so scared and so nervous. It was like terrifying. Um, I decided, yes, let's do it. And I remember just waiting for it to start. And I had my best friend there with me. And like, I felt like I was like drunk or something or like high or something. I was just like, like I was floating on water and I felt really relaxed and okay with about what was going to happen to me. Um, and then it started. <laughs> it, uh, it was very gentle, I guess, uh, through, through the first part of it. It was, um, easy and smooth. Uh, I didn't start fussing until, like, the sutures, like, stitching everything up. The last suture was, like, at the very, very, like, in between. And the pull from that, oh my God, my body was vibrating. It was so intense. The most extraordinary part of my life. I'll never forget it. <laughs> the second major body modification that I had is my ears. Um, they were cut to help make them bigger so like there's like chunk missing right there and like I have this weird flappy thing but that's just from the cartilage being weird and me not properly taking care of my body mods I never do I'm horrible at being a client and I'm sorry but um yeah so it has like this weird teardrop thing and like my ears are just dropping it took me about um 12 years to get to an inch 
and I wasn't pleased with it at all. Um, I wanted it to be bigger. I wanted it to be at least a two inch and I was like 12 years of stretching is um, making me miserable. I just, I want to be at my goal. So Ian um, plus my ears up for it, which was great. And I really appreciate it because now they're just going down when it uh comes time i am going to um stitch these bad boys back into regular earlobes uh not until i'm like much older just because i don't really like the idea of like dangling earlobes when i'm old and wrinkly i i think i might gross myself out if i have that the third body mod that I got that was pretty heavy um is my scarification on my um torso it looks like that um so that was very very easy actually like I prefer scarification over tattoos any day it's just like it glides like butter and it's over and it's quick yeah I mean like right there it's not comfortable at all and I am miserable for every single tattoo and piercing and mod that I ever get so that wasn't new to me um yeah it was just easy and I'm planning on doing it throughout my whole um abdomen is going to be nothing but scarification I'm really excited about that can't wait for it to start it's gonna be awesome we can't do it yet because it's about to be summer and I want to go swimming so no scarification right now the um other body modification that i have that's very very heavy is my pentagram in my hand you can't really see it because of that too like that so that was insane <laughs> i that was such a spur of the moment idea i was in vegas um at the app conference and i was walking past um steve hayworth's booth and I saw the pentagram there and I was talking to his um, colleagues and I was just like, yeah, you know, I always thought that it would be really cool to have that. And they were like, do it, do it. There's a five o'clock slot today. Do it, do it, do it. And I was like, all right, there you go. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, it was very spiritual in a way. Um, I, the connections that I made at Iron Horse is where um, we did it was amazing. They are great people, wonderful support system. Five out of 10, go see Iron Horse in Las Vegas. And then go to the bar right around the corner. I can't remember the bar's name, but it's fucking rad. So definitely go there. Um, Steve Hayworth was so sweet, so gentle, made me feel extremely comfortable. Um, definitely would get something else from him anytime. The next mod that I'm going to talk about is this. It's not a mod, it's a tattoo, but this was the most excruciating pain I have ever been in in my entire life. I was crying so bad and Nick Martin tattoos at Tried and True was so amazing and patient with me and like try to keep my spirits up did an amazing job on this absolutely great all right guys so that is the walkthrough for all of my body mods um if you like more content like this go ahead and give it a like and subscribe share with your friends um if you have any questions shoot them down below in the comments or dm me on my instagram and um have a great day. Thanks, guys. Bye.